Hello friends, welcome to Rajas Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to explain how to read tables from Azure SQL database in Azure Databricks using PySpark. This is one of the common requirement in most of the Azure Databricks projects. Either we have to read the data or write the data into Azure SQL database. So first I will cover how to read the data from SQL database in this video. So in order to perform uh, this activity first we need to create SQL database in Azure portal. So I will do that step. Once that is done, I will create a connection string that is a step two. Once that is done, we can read the data from Azure SQL database using Databricks notebook. So first uh, let us create SQL database in Azure portal. So in this portal currently I don't have any database it's empty. So I want, I want to create one uh, SQL database first. So I'm going to use my resource group, then I will give some database name. So here I want to give database Raja Data Engineering. This is going to be my database name. And we have to choose a server. Currently I don't have any server, so it would be empty. So I have to create, I'm going to create a server also. So a uh, server name I'm going to give uh, SQL server iPhone Raja D data engineering and location and I'm going to leave other options default. So we have to give um, uh, some um, admin login details. So, so for that I'm going to give uh, Raja data engineering that is going to be my admin username password I can give uh, test underscore at the rate 1234. So test at the rate 1234. So it's done. I'm going to create um, a SQL server and based on SQL server, view, a database would be created. So I'm going to leave other options uh, default and uh, coming to additional settings, I have to create a sample uh, database. I'm going to use Adventure uh, Works uh, database as my sample database so that I don't, I don't need to create any sample data. I'm going to use sample database. So that's it. Uh, let me click um, review and create. So deployment is completed. Now SQL database got, com got created in Azure portal. So let me go to the resource. This is the database got created. So let me quickly check some tables. So for that we have to log in. So in order to log in, we have to supply our password. But before that we have to add the firewall. And we have to add our IP address into the firewall range. Otherwise it is going to throw error. Anyway, let me try to log in. As I expected, it is throwing error. Because um, we haven't added this particular IP address. So let me add this IP address. Go to SQL Server. In the SQL, SQL Server, you can go to Show Firewall Settings. Then we can enable allow Azure services and resources to access the server. And apart from that, we have to give a rule also. So I want to give a database rule. I'll give the range. And without forget, we need to save, that is important. Once it's done, now we can go back to login page and we can log in. Now it should work. Great, we have logged in. Now I want to see the tables. So here we can see the tables from Adventure Works database. So for example, I want to see the sample data from product table. So I want to, I'm going to click uh, select top thousand rows. So the query is running. Great. We can see the output. So uh, this is how we can create a database and also we can um, you know, query, we can do any database related operations uh, in query editor. Uh, but uh, SQL Server Management Studio that is very comfortable for most of the uh, database developer. So we can perform these operations in SSMS uh, tool also. Let me show you how to do that. So for that, 
we have to take the server name so let me go to my SQL server and we can get the server name this is the server name so let me take the server name go to SQL server management studio and we have to give the server name and the login it's uh, Raja data engineering I have given and password it's a test at the rate one two three four let me connect okay now we have logged in into the database server now I can see the tables created for this database and here I can see the same tables and I can see all database operations directly in SSMS great now I want to read this table into Databricks environment and want to create data frame as part of my development so how I can do so let me log in into uh, Databricks so this is my Databricks environment I have logged in into Databricks workspace and also I have created one sample notebook okay that does read from Azure SQL database my cluster test is up and running so in order to proceed with uh, uh, with with this uh, demo first we need to build connection string so for that we have to get these informations uh, JDBC host name so what is a host name it's uh, nothing but server just now we have copied that server name and port it's a default one one four double three and uh, database name I have given database iPhone uh, Raja data engineering otherwise you know we can uh, get this information from the portal Microsoft portal so if we go to here you know this SQL server this is a ser uh, server name and uh, coming to database this is the database name database iPhone Raja data engineering okay now I have to give the uh, database username it's Raja data engineering and password I have uh, set the password to test at the rate one two three four and the JDBC driver this you are this um, value is constant so now we have populated all the values using these values now we can create a connection string we can uh, create JDBC URL so here you know, uh, you know these are the variable names I am supplying in case you are going to give different variable name then you have to change that accordingly so here we have to put a host name then after that it's a port name then we have to give database name then username and password so our JDBC URL would be ready when I, when I execute this step let me execute this one so it's done so in the next step uh, in order to read the data from uh, Azure SQL database this is the you know it's a standard um, uh, reading syntax you know spark read okay it's a spark read format we have to give JDPC and option we have to give uh, URL so this is the URL JDPC URL I am going to use then finally we have to give table name okay in order to uh, read some table we have to give option DB table then here we have to give the table you know, which table we want to read so in this case I want to read table product so so I have to supply both schema name and product so without um, square bracket now our query is ready now I'm going to execute then uh, it will create data frame df1 this data frame will read the data from this particular table in Azure SQL database then finally it would be displayed let me execute here we haven't added IP address for Databricks so that's a, uh, that's the reason we are getting this error so we have to add uh, Databricks IP address also into SQL Server so for that I'm going to SQL Server once again then adding the firewall for Azure Databricks so it's done let me save it yeah now we have added the IP address for Databricks environment also so let me execute once again it should work now great 
Now our Databricks has read the data from Azure SQL database and it is displaying. And if you have to perform any other transformation as per our business requirement, we can proceed. And I want to show one more method also. You know, in, instead of uh, building this JDBC URL, if you are going to get a connection string from your administrator, then you know directly you can use um, uh, this simple method also. So in case you are having connection string, so let me show you how to get connection string. So for that, you have to get into your database. Here you can see show database connection strings. Click on that. It will give different drivers and we are going to use JDBC. So go to JDBC, then copy this entire value. And, uh, put it in um, connection string. And here you don't need to change any value except this password. So by default, this connection string will not give your password, but we can put it here. It's one, two, three, four. So I'm going to create connection string. Once that is done, you know, it's going to be simple stuff. I can use Spark, Read, JDBC, then I have to supply connection string. After that, I can, I can give a table name, whatever the table name I want to read. So it's um, so simple. Let me read another table. Maybe it's um, address. Yeah. So this is how we can read data from Azure SQL database in Azure Databricks using PySpark. I hope you understood this uh, exercise. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please uh, like the video and subscribe this channel. Thank you.